Hey, welcome guys to the AZ Cruiser channel. So normally I post videos about me going on adventures, off-roading. I myself am an avid off-roader. Camping, you know, working on my truck. Like, you know, teaching you techniques of, on what I learned on my 80 series. But today I got something different. In this video, I'm going to be showing you why it's important to use proper techniques when towing out a vehicle. Now the family that this happened to, they want to spread awareness. So this is why I'm sharing it with you. I'll also link the link for their GoFundMe down below if you want to help support. But anyways, if you've seen the story, it's a, a man in Kingman, Arizona. But I just want to share with you the details of what happened. You know, I don't want this to happen to anybody else. So if I can save one life, that's the least I could do, you know what I mean? So in this video, I'm just going to read to you, uh, it's a post on uh, Mojave County 4x4 Recovery on Facebook. And I'm just going to read it basically word for word so you can follow along. I'll also link that in the description as well if you want to check that out. But anyways, here it goes. Attention, please read. Never use a tow ball to recover someone. It's not worth somebody's life. Tuesday, July 26, 2022. It was a typical day in small town Kingman, Arizona. The undeveloped barren wasteland where developers have dumped their excess dirt has created obstacles for the community to enjoy year round. Anytime it rains, the fields turn into a mud and fest the swampy playground for all the locals to flock to on their 4x4s, quads, and side by sides. But nobody could have seen what tragedy would have happened on that cloudy, wet afternoon in the high desert. The Woods family. Jennifer and Ryan were out in their Ford Super Duty with their kids in the back seat playing in the mud, enjoying the thrill of sideways spinning tires, splashing through puddles, all while navigating through years of man-made tracks filled with deep holes that would challenge the most capable of vehicles. Well, soon into the adventure, Ryan came across a mud hole that sunk his four-ton beast. Even with a rear locker and 4 x 4 he was swamped unable to budge the truck with all four tires spinning. He was stuck with no way of getting out without a tow. So like every other time he's gotten stuck, he called upon a good friend he's known for 20 years. This friend, known as a known off-roader, racer, and mechanic came out in his 4x4 hoping for just a quick pull out of the mud so he could head back home to his jacuzzi waiting for him back at home. With minimal recovery gear with him and years of off-roading experience, he, like many other people across the world, worked with what he had on hand. A chain stretched across boat factory front recovery points, a 3-inch static HD tow strap, and a drop-down hitch with a 2-inch ball connected to the rear of his four-wheel drive truck. The first few attempts failed, with one of the chains failing to be strong enough and broke after the second pull. After the strap was connected directly to one front tow point, after a few light tugs, the truck wasn't budging. Knowing more force was needed to pluck this 9,000 pound truck out of the mud, he backed up a few feet to get a better start. There turned out to be too much stress for the ball hitch. When the extra tension was created by the force of the pull, it ripped the drop down portion of the hitch off of the truck, sending it and the strap directly towards Ryan's truck smashing through the windshield directly where Ryan was in the driver's seat. The force was so great it ripped through the windshield and bent the steering wheel before ultimately striking Ryan in the face, ending his life. With his family in the car, an afternoon full of fun and excitement turned into a traumatizing experience. This family will never be the same. Ryan was a loving husband of 23 years with his wife Jennifer and he leaves behind three kids, Darren Woods, 27, Madison Woods, 13, and London Woods, 10. And also a friendship of 20 years. Now with the reality, he lost his friend from this freak accident. Ryan served everyone he came in contact with, even strangers he loved deeply and forgave quickly. His legacy will not be forgotten and live on with his children. Rest in peace, Ryan Robert Woods, 7-7-1979-7-26-2022. Seven, seven, 
Whenever going out off-roading, it's inevitable that somebody can get stuck. Use the proper recovery gear and never use a tow ball. Also, do not use chains or straps that are not designed to be yanked. Soft shackles, kinetic recovery ropes, synthetic winch lines, and safety blankets help minimize risk when rigged properly prevent damage or injury with the correct safety precautions in place. Proper recovery gear has weight ratings listed on the tags. Do not exceed those weight ratings. I hope this post can educate the public that tow balls are not for recoveries and people can seriously get hurt and even killed. I'll post all the links down below. When people know the proper way of using a winch and recovery ropes, then hopefully more lives can be saved and nobody else has to get hurt and killed. So there you go. That's this week's video. And stay safe out there, guys. All right. The Easy Cruiser out.